Artwork, critiques, Photoshop files and reference sheets are all available on my Patreon. Details on how you can win this very tablet for free at the end of the video. Welcome to the unboxing review of the XP Pen Innovator 16 graphics drawing tablet. So those lovely people over at XP Pen said, Mikey, if we send you our Innovator 16 drawing tablet, would you like to make a review video of it? And of course, ya yeah boy said yes. But as you know, I'm going to let you know exactly what I think of the tablet regardless, because I value my reputation a lot more than I do a good business relationship with a supplier. Just check out that time I got sent an AlphaWise tablet. But I digress. Here's what you can expect in the post if you order one for yourself. A clean design XP Pen product box with minimal white themes surrounding a colourful central art piece. The XP Pen logo and drawing different key phrase is printed on the box sides. And a section on the rear is devoted to the product details and dimensions. Let's take a look for ourselves. First thing when you lift the lid is the XP Pen 16 inch drawing tablet itself. Plastic sealed with an extra screen protector, which immediately appears sleek and solid and minimal. But we'll take a look at that in a moment. Under this is a single setting tablet stand which folds flat and is made of a hard, rigid backed plastic. Then a US power plug with USB connection that further comes with a Chinese or Australian adapter a European version, and a free pin plug UK adapter straight out of the box. Then there is an XP Pen branded card container that has all of your paperwork, including a thank you note with contact information, the tablet warranty policy that I will not remember to fill in, a smudge guard glove for keeping your hand gliding smoothly over the screen without getting it grimy, and the quick start guide that of course I will never read. Below this set is a microfiber cleaning cloth, and then a lower card box which contains your connection leads. One USB extension lead for the power cord, and then as you might expect to find with a 16 inch tablet range, an all-in-one Lilu Dallas multi cable to keep your wires as simple as possible. Then finally you have the classic XP Pen hard shell messenger tube that unscrews at one end to house all of your spare pen nibs, while the other contains the sleek 8192 pressure level stylus pen. And that's it for the vacuum formed plastic container, so overall here's what you can expect. You get the Innovator 16 graphics drawing tablet, the flat folding tilt stand, all-in-one multi-cable, USB power lead, quick start guidebook, warranty policy, thank you note, smudge guard glove, cleaning cloth, US power plug, the three different plug adapter ends for Europe, UK, China and Australia, the tablet pen and the hard shell case with the spare nibs. As you might expect, with of course the exception of your own laptop, Mac or PC that you'll be plugging this into, you otherwise have everything you need to get going straight away out of the box other than just downloading the driver software. As for the XP Pen Innovator 16 tablet itself, this thing is pretty slim with a silvered plastic finish on the back and the left hand side, while the screen side is housed in a black plastic finish with the XP Pen logo on the far right of the frame. The top left hand edge houses the single USB-C connection port that is slightly recessed which is important, the power button and screen brightness buttons, although visually I was content at leaving that dialed up to 100%. The minimal overall form with the two plastic tones might feel workmanlike and industrial, but when it comes to the quick access keys it's really not messing around. The ergonomic setup of these are really good. Two groupings of four with larger buttons nearest the scroll wheel sides and two raised dots in each group. The idea here being that by sense of touch alone, it's easy to know exactly where your hand is and what your thumb is resting on without taking your eyes off of your art workflow. And the scroll wheel in the middle is one of my favourites right now, as scrolling the outer edge of a ring can be set to manage your zoom, while scrolling your thumb over the touch sensitive middle area of the ring Long. can be set to a different function like changing your brush size. It's very clean and nicely designed. But obviously, as it is very flat and portable, your non-pen hand will only sit comfortably around the buttons when the tablet is tilted up off of your desk surface. 
and although the stand feels firm enough, it is definitely the main letdown out of everything in the box. It has only one setting, and that is very shallow. If you use the tablet at such a low angle for more than just a very quick sketching session, you're going to be leaning too far forward over the screen and giving yourself a world of neck and backache. Take it from an old man like me, that's a big deal. The simple fix that I did was to prop up the back of the stand on a couple of thick old textbooks to raise the angle to around 45 degrees so that I could sit with a better upright posture before I got cracking into some work. And at higher angles, the lip of the stand will still keep everything firmly in place along with its rubber grips. But that is very much a desktop solution and not much use if you are using the tablet on the go. The XP Pen Cylinder has been great for a while simply for the fact that it's rock solid and going to protect your pen if you throw it in a bag with your luggage, as well as being big enough to not be so easily lost underneath the couch. The Pen Stylus is a gunmetal grey with rubber grip area. It's not flared near the tip which is usually a good move for comfort over time, especially with larger hands, but after hours of use I had no discomfort, although I am someone who draws with a fairly light grip. Feeling your way across the programmable buttons with your thumb feels fine, and it's a battery-free stylus so it's also very lightweight, with just enough give in the nib to feel responsive without feeling at all spongy. Very good. The lid of the container acts as a pen pot holder for when working on the desk, and the other end of the cylinder as mentioned houses for spare nibs that you kind of have to jimmy in and out of the pen a little bit using the metal ring in the center, so you might want to consider some tweezers instead, as it works kind of okay, but sometimes the nib can go right through that hole and rattle around inside of the shell case forever after. In order to get set up, you're going to slot on whichever power plug converter is applicable to your country, take the red USB lead from the all-in-one multi-cable and stick on that USB power extension to connect it to the plug and the plug to the wall. The HDMI lead goes into your computer as well as the separate USB port for the pen tracking, while the single USB lead at the other end of the cable is the only thing to go into the tablet. And with a recessed port, the weight of the cable is supported by the plastic part of the plug as it slots into the housing instead of just the metal connection part of the port itself, something that they didn't think to do on my last Huey on tablet and it kept rattling around and making me worry about the connection lead if I wasn't moving it carefully enough on the desk. Once you are all plugged in, downloading the driver installer from the xppen.com website, which is different from their main store website, is a simple enough process. But just a heads up, make sure you download the full Windows installer and not their new user interface version as this has a slightly more simplified look and does not include all of the screen setting functions. Then take a moment to program the quick access keys and two function scroll wheel to suit your needs. I essentially go for the most common keyboard keys that I might use while painting as well as the undo and new layer buttons included in there somewhere. And I found that everything worked immediately with Photoshop. So then, for me it's just a case of sitting down with this tablet for a good long time to actually get an overall feel of what this is like to use as an artist. As you may be aware, I'm not going to slowly draw a line with a physical ruler across the screen because that's not something I ever actually need to do when I'm painting. And as long as the stylus is responsive along the edges for tapping on the Photoshop drop down menus, then there's not really much stress testing I tend to worry about there either. I approach my reviews really from the point of view of somebody who just needs to sit down for a good long time and get some artwork done, and judge the tablet experience from there. As for parallax and pen responsiveness, I had no issues, and in the driver display settings, after whacking the screen brightness up to 100%, I really only had to nudge down the red value ever so slightly, just a couple of points below the values for green and blue, and ended up with a pretty good match to my Asus ROG main monitors. I always recommend looking at a few different brightly coloured pictures on your tablet and also your main screen at the same time to help 
help you calibrate how things are looking, or at least a picture of a color wheel as well as something in grayscale, just to make sure that what you're seeing as you work on a tablet is going to be what you're also getting once you start to look at your artwork on other devices. Overall, after a little bit of getting used to things and being measured with my brush strokes, I felt the pen to screen experience was great. With just the slightest hint of texture instead of gloss on the screen surface, and although I usually prefer to see a slightly flared area near the nib end of the stylus for comfort over a long time, I didn't experience any issues or discomfort myself. As mentioned, the design layout for the quick access keys I think for this is really good ergonomically. They are a hard plastic which require very little button depression and have no wobble inside of the housing, so it does feel all nice and tight. Though an incredibly minor nitpick might be that a rubber button set might just feel a fraction nicer underneath my thumb. And you can also flip this tablet round the other way if you're sinister handed, and rotate the screen in the driver app. But the USB connection cable which runs flush sideways to the screen might need to be plugged in the other way around to avoid pinching with your desk surface, which in turn could cause it to interfere a little bit with your lower set of buttons. The scroll wheel responded pretty well and didn't give me any frustrations, although it is a very smooth motion, and I did rather enjoy the faint clicking feeling you got from the red scroll wheels in some of XP Pen's other ranges. However, as this one serves two functions at the same time depending on what section of the wheel you're turning, instead of having to also have a switch function key, is simply brilliant and I loved that a lot. It is worth mentioning that the all-in-one cable setup is designed with someone on the go in mind, as it's long enough to plug into a laptop that might be sitting on the same desk, but may not reach far enough if you're using a PC and the tower is underneath your desk instead of on top. And even in order to film this review comfortably for me in a desktop scenario, I had to actually use extension leads for most of the multi-cable ends. This seems to be the case these days with most tablets in that 16-inch range, which are big enough for you to use for a long time without feeling too cramped in the screen area, but also keeping slim and light enough to fit in a backpack. I find myself wishing every time that the USB-C end of these things was at least a couple of feet longer because that would make a world of difference. And with the shallow stand setting, if you want to try to use this as a second monitor, you're going to need to be a little bit inventive in how you're going to prop things up. Which leads to the biggest letdown out of the box, which is that stand as mentioned. It works great for what it intends to do, which is create a stable base to lean into your tablet at a low working angle, but it blows my mind that it's not tilted higher or at least doesn't come with a second deeper angle setting. As someone who likes their spine, there is no way that I would be able to use this on a long-term basis without propping the whole thing further upright as mentioned with some extra books. And that means it's not really doing its job if that's all you have to work with in your bag on holiday. But that's a peripheral issue and not really a tablet problem. So overall, would I recommend the XP Pen Innovator 16? Well, if you watch a lot of my reviews, I'm usually comfortably happy with most of XP Pen and Huion's newer models over the last year or two. And I only really start worrying about where you guys might be spending your money when you start looking at some of the other alternative brands available. So I enjoyed using this tablet and in general, if you are keen to give digital art a go, a 16-inch drawing tablet or somewhere about that size is usually going to give you a lot more breathing room than a 12-inch option if you're going to be using it an awful lot, but price-wise they are always an investment. So of course if you're thinking about getting into drawing for the very first time, please do remember that nothing is cheaper and more accessible than just grabbing some paper and pencils. But yes! I would recommend this. What really pops the XP Pen Innovator 16 over the top, despite that low stand, is the fact that the scroll wheel has that dual function, and I really like those express keys. Plus, I didn't have to do very much adjusting to the screen colors when I got it out of the box, which is an improvement over some of XP Pen's other models that seem to be overly vibrant towards the reds. 
So if you are interested in this tablet, the links of course can be found in the description below. And it goes without saying a great big thank you to XP Pen for popping this over for review. And as mentioned at the start of the video, if you would like to have a shot at winning this very tablet for free, then be aware that August is Art Month over on Twitch, and I will be posting this tablet worldwide to one of you lovely lot on Saturday the 28th where I pick a lovely winner at random over on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. So don't miss out, links again below, or just follow the links to pop in and say hello, because that's where I'm usually hanging out doing some art. I'll see you next time, and take care.